Microsoft Copilot can now generate better images, plus it can do some image editing. And I also did some comparisons in between Microsoft Copilot, ChatGPT, and Gemini, and results are kind of shocking, at least for Gemini, <laughs> okay? So as soon as I heard that Copilot can now generate images just like ChatGPT using the GPT-40 model, I tested it. Actually, I uploaded my own picture here. Uh, this is my old picture, not that old, just one year old. And I prompted, turn this image into Japanese anime style. And it gave me this image. And this image is actually pretty good because, <laughs> let me show you guys something here. I did the same thing with Gemini just this morning because actually when I tried it, for the first time, I turned this image into Japanese anime style. It told me that uh, it's still learning to generate images, at least these kind of images, or it's against the guideline. Gemini is more restricted than other uh, AI chatbots out there, so maybe, I don't know. But this morning, I tried it. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to say. If you want to convert your images to different style, Gemini just does not work. I even have pro subscription. Yeah, this is with the flash. Let me show you guys with the pro. I mean, it's not that bad. It's usable, but you can definitely tell that these two images does not match. Okay, they, they, it doesn't resemble anything. And I also tried it with ChatGPT and ChatGPT actually did pretty well. Turn this photo into Japanese anime style and it's actually pretty good okay uh, yeah it got beard the thin beard and mustache got it okay and I also removed the hand and it, it keeps the character as it is so now we have this power on copilot I don't know why but there is one error in copilot that uh, you know the image is in like landscape mode now it uh, generated in portrait mode. Other than that, this is pretty good and usable actually. At least like if you wanna transform your image to different style, it actually works, kinda, okay? Just like ChatGPT. I think ChatGPT is really good at transforming images to different style. And I also tried doing it opposite. I have this anime picture, turn this into realistic and it, did pretty well okay look at that <laughs> everything is just same and this is actually really impressive and you can do it for free on copilot uh let's actually use copilot in web maybe we'll get different aspect ratio for the images that it generates right now i'm using the app maybe that is the reason why these images are in portrait mode not in landscape even though i provided the landscape uh photos so let's run a couple of tests in between Copilot, Gemini, and ChatGPT and try to edit or add objects or something like that. Let's upload this image. We know that it can transform the images into different style really well. So now let's try to add something. I'm gonna try to put basketball in my hand. So I'm gonna put this prompt in here. Image generation is actually really slow, especially when you're trying to edit something. So you'll have to wait a couple of minutes so while it's doing its thing let's do the same thing on chat gpt i'm gonna put the same prompt in gemini mm, let's run it okay now let's check on the uh, copilot uh <laughs> okay it's not me it's like older me or something it's not that bad but it definitely changed the look of my face it, it's not me Okay, it regenerated my face and everything and added the basketball. Pretty good. And it looks like on the web, it actually provides you the uh, landscape images. Let's check on the Gemini. Gemini is always faster than other image generator out there. And this is the best thing about Gemini. Yeah, it can add objects or remove objects from the images without touching the main object on the image. So you can see this is still me. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Everything is same. It just added the basketball. Pretty good, okay? Look at the original picture. This is me, 
okay so if you want to add or remove something from the images yeah gemini does it better i have tested this multiple times and i also did video on this so yeah image editing like adding objects and all that is better in gemini let's just say it's not that good at transforming the image to different style but it is actually good at adding or removing objects from the images because you can see it's uh yeah it's 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 still me now let's check on the chat gpt lots of people are creating images right now so this might take a bit if you want the fast image generation uh, go for the uh, gemini i'm gonna try to turn this image into cartoon style let's run it and it does it pretty fast actually uh, but when you change the entire style it doesn't look that good basically <laughs> the basketball is still real so it's not as advanced as the uh, chat gpt's 40 model for image generation but it is actually pretty good at adding and removing objects okay that's the one thing that you need to know so if you want to transform your images go for the chat gpt but if you want to uh, edit your images like remove background or replace background or add object or something gemini is just better on that let's run the same prompt in here turn this into cartoon style it's not gonna be as fast as google gemini <laughs> but it will provide you better results the chat gpt is just not working and i don't have the premium plan of chat gpt you can do it for free but it's really slow if there are a lot of people generating images using chat gpt it's gonna take some time really long time oh yeah this is pretty good yeah i mean this image isn't mine i mean you can see it tempered with my face but the cartoon that it's generating is accurate like it's the same okay so if you wanna again change the style of your images yeah go for chat gpt or copilot chat gpt does better than copilot for sure uh, you can see that these images the image quality is also higher gemini again isn't actually good at uh, styling your images chat gpt and copilot actually work really well this is a pretty good cartoon version of this image that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun Bye. -bye.